what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can scrape any website on any time let's get started this is a website that we're going to scrape in this video it's a website from for a company that offers seo services content services and web services over here to all these different markets to scrape this website yeah we're going to add a trigger i'm going to choose to trigger these manually to test it i'll click on test workflow you can see it's working perfectly now to scrape our website we are going to search for http request node over here and click on it yeah i'll rename this scrape website and then click on rename yeah we're going to add the url of our website so i'll copy it and paste the url right here and that's all we have to do so for the authentication leave it as none leave everything as is and now to test it i'll click on test step here you can see it successfully scraped our website and here we have all this data that we captured from our website it's a mix of javascript html text css links to images and other web pages to filter this data i'll click on back to canvas and here I'm going to search for Markdown over here and click on the node right here. For the mode, we're going to choose HTML to Markdown. And here we'll add our data. So I'll drag these data over here. And now to test data, I'll click on test step. As you can see it's executing our node right here. And you can see here we have data that is much understandable to us over here. Previously, we had this complicated string over here, which only the computer can understand on the website. If we search, for example, this title, and then search for the title right here, you can see the title in our data over here. By using a markdown node, now you can see we have, we're outputting data that we can be able to understand over here. Now, if we search for our title, you can see it over here. This is a much more understandable data than the one we had previously. From here, we can use AI to generate a, a one-line summary of the website. So we can use AI to tell us exactly what the website is about. So yeah, I'll search for AI agent node. We will need to connect it first. For the chat model, we're going to use Gemini since it's a free model. And here, I'll search for the 2.0 flush. Yeah, we can choose to add option, maximum token. You can choose a maximum token over here temperature can it leave everything as is and then click on back and then with our chat model set up yeah you can open this module yeah you can choose to define below and add our prompt over here you can choose the expression where we write the prompt over here we're going to tell the ai to write a one-line sentence on what this website is about and then here's the website data and then from the markdown we're going to drag our data right here we already connected our chat model I'm going to click on test step. You can see over here, it's giving us an output. So it's telling us this website is for Victoria's, an SEO agency that helps businesses improve their search engine rankings and online visibility. So here we can also say outline for sentences on what this website is about and click on test step. So here you can see Victoria's is an award-winning SEO agency that helps businesses improve their search engine rankings and drive organic traffic. They have a range of SEO services, including one page optimization, keyword research, and link building, tailored to various industries and business sizes, with a focus on transparent and ethical practices. Victoria's aims to deliver sustainable revenue growth for their clients. They also provide content and web services to enhance online visibility and performance. We can decide to send ourselves the summary of the website via email. So here I'll add another node and search for Gmail. Click on Gmail, and here we'd like to send a message. Here. You need to first of all create a new credential to connect on any time. I suggest using the OAuth store and click on sign in with Google right here. Then a new window will be prompted where you choose the account that you'd like to connect to any time. Since I had already created my connection, I'm going to delete this and choose my previous credential, which is this one right here. For the resource, some message we'd like to send it to here will add email. The email that we'd like to send our message our summary to. We can add the subject line as 
script website summary for the email type i'm going to choose text and then here we can add the output and here i'll drag the output right here everything looks perfect and then here i'll click on test step you can see it sent us an email you can see it's sending us the summary of our website yeah we can remove these notification so on our module click on add option then click on append and it ends option then turn this off then now we can send ourselves another email you can see we sent ourselves another email this time around we sent ourselves the summary of the website with the any 10 notification removed we did that by creating this simple automation on any 10 so here on this node we are adding the website that we like to scrape over here then we're scraping it and getting this massive data and using the markdown node over here we are converting this long string that we got after we scraped the website into a much more understandable data over here but we're getting only a mix of text links and images and then we're using the company's data that is much more understandable to us and telling ai to write a brief summary of the website and then we are sending ourselves the summary of the website via email you can see the summary of the website that we send ourselves over here over here using the simple automation on any gen we can try to scrape another different seo company like this one over here All you have to do is copy the URL of this page, then on automation on, on the HTTP request module, I'll open it and add the website URL right here, and then click on work. Now, to scrape the website, add it into readable text and generate a brief summary and send it to a web email. I'll click on test workflow. You can see our workflow was executed successfully. And then on our email, you can see we generated a first sentence summary of the website elsner.com appears to be a digital agency offering services such as seo web development and mobile app development we specialize in e-commerce solutions and provide expert it support across various industries the website also facilitates hiring dedicated developers for different platforms they aim to boost online visibility and provide tailored digital solutions i rename this to website summary and click on rename then we can rename this to website summary email and click on rename. By creating this simple automation on any 10, we'll be able to scrape any website and generate the summary to the website using AI and send yourself the summary via email. If you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire system or automation from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.